Okay, so now we've got all of our gear laid out. Everything we're going to take on this three-day trip uh, to go and put our trail cams in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start out with the essentials. We've got our hydration pack already in here. We're going to grab our spotting scope and slide it into place. you got to have that, otherwise you're, you're wasting your time, really. Um, there is a, a little bit of room left in this pouch, but we're going to go ahead and zip it up. And if we need to fit more stuff in there a little later, then we will. Um, on this side, we've got this inside pocket right here. That's where we're going to go ahead and put our little tripod. This actually isn't the tripod we're going to take. We take a Vortex tripod. We're just using this uh, just as an example. Uh, the camera's on uh, the Vortex tripod that we'd normally take with us. We've got our uh, phone scope. The phone will be in my pocket. When we get to the trailhead, we'll put that in. And we've got our, our Bluetooth for hitting the button. It's charged and ready to go. So we're gonna put all that gear right there in the wings. Now on these outside pockets, we're gonna need to, there's items that we're gonna need to be able to get to uh, fairly quick and easily. Um, this is where you're gonna put your shovel and your toilet paper in. A little bit of air in that bag, so we're gonna squeeze the air out. Some of you are probably trying to look at that saying, why in the world does he have toilet paper in a plastic bag? Well, I guess wet wipes works good, but wet toilet paper doesn't work so good. So I like to keep it dry. So we're going to fit that in there. Now I've got emergency stuff in here. Remember I got my headlamp, my backup batteries, my flashlight, uh, emergency type stuff, first aid kit. So we're going to put all that in there and get that knocked out. Okay, that's squared away. We're gonna go ahead and put our water filter in that pouch. Again, this is stuff that we're gonna to want to have accessibility to. We're gonna to wanna to be able to get to it and be able to use it on the trip. It's not the right tripod, so it's actually making it a little bit difficult to get that zipped up. So I'm going to pull that out. And we'll just tuck it in this outside pocket here in a minute. Um, now let's start filling up this inside. One of the first things that uh, we want to get taken care of is the trophy rock. That's one of the, that is the heaviest item. It weighs a ton. Here's our gallon bag that we talked about. Get that laid in there. The bear box, security box and the camera. We'll slide those in next. And then Here's what we use to uh, make sure the camera's set up right. You got to take that with you, or you're not gonna you're gonna have problems. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pot that we use to boil water with our fuel and our stove. We're gonna slide those in there. Then we're gonna take our sleeping system. Gotta get these two parts in first. And then to our sleeping bag. Now this is a this isn't the exact amount of food that we would be carrying. We could actually be going. A little bit less than what we've actually got in here because we actually have enough breakfast to last us multiple like five days gotta let some air out try and get all that air out of there so it fit 
That's one thing about these dry bags. You gotta squeeze all that air out. Like that. To get them to fit in. The reason why we use a uh, waterproof bag for our food, A, to keep it dry, but remember, we're in bear country, so we're gonna be hanging this up in a tree, and if it happens to rain at night, we don't want our food getting wet. Um, about the only thing that could really be damaged would be uh, the oatmeal, but uh, we definitely wanna get that taken care of. Um, we're down to the point now where we have a little bit of stuff left that's gonna to need to be stuffed here and there to make it fit. Preferably, if I had this down on the ground, I'd be squishing it down a little bit more, making it fit a little bit better. Um, our pack cover, in case we end up in a monsoon downpour, we're going to slide that up there. We're going to put the knife in the front pocket. Cover that up. Toothpaste, we can put in this back pouch. Toothbrush, gum. Put that in there as well. Now the inhaler and whatever medicine that you need to take with you, I would put it in your left pouch. Um, the reason why I say the left pouch is because, remember, we're in bear country and we want to put our sidearm in the right pocket because we're right-handed. If you put it on the left side, then you got to fuss with it uh, to get a hold of it and to draw it. If you've got an animal coming at you, you just don't want to be wasting time trying to do that. I'm going to lay this down now. Now this is a lot of stuff. This is. Uh, could be squished down a little bit more. I do have a whole box of oatmeal in there, so it, it actually normally be a little bit flatter than that. Now it's just a matter of making a few minor adjustments. buckled up. Now one of the nice thing about these Everly stocks is it's got this bottom piece right here that's going to take all that heavy weight I've got in the bottom and really cinch it up good and tight. And then these straps here are going to keep all the scope and everything else safe and in place where it needs to stay for the trip in. Um, the walking sticks at this point in time. Drop one right there on that side and I can fit this other one in on this side. Remember, just you got to be able to get to them real quick. Buckle those up. Now, this can be a fairly heavy pack, uh, 35 pounds or so, because you know you're you're carrying almost 10 pounds just in bait and stuff. Uh, getting your Big and Jay's products in here, um, they're going to take take up a little bit of space. You want to make sure you got your hydration sticking out the front. Normally, uh, we take three of us, so one of the boys would probably be carrying this, and we would probably have all three, uh, our four-man stove rather than just a single. Um, so I need to fit that in here right quick. You 
got to have our be able to purify water, so it's, it's got to go. So sorry if it seems like I'm a little bit disorganized, because like I said, normally when we go in, there's actually three of us that go in, and so we kind of split up the the gear and stuff. I can go and do this by myself on my own. using what I have. So the only item that I have left to get into the pack, I've got my food, my sleeping system. I've got everything that I need in this pack. Now remember, I'm gonna carry my binoculars right here. I don't wanna wear the raincoat. That's just gonna be a little bit too warm for me. And so, what I'm going to do with the raincoat, let me just lay this down here. Because I'm going to tuck it into the side pocket. I got stuff falling out of the belt pocket because I didn't zip it closed. quite fitting in there but uh, you can get the picture it will go I'm gonna let the hood hang out just in case I can reach around and just grab it pull it on but so there you go a few minor adjustments Backpack, straps, the belt. Where you want this all this this belt to be hitting you at? It's right on your hips. So there we go. You got your load lifter straps right here. Those are tightened up against me. I'm ready to go. I've got my water right here which I can run down through there a lot of times what you want to do is make sure you go underneath your bino straps that way you're free to bring them up you're not running into your strap so there you go you got three days worth of stuff to get back in the back country it's about 35 pounds not a bad pack it's a great way to break in for the season get some exercise get out and have some fun get yourself pumped up and ready to go for the fall I want to wish you guys a bunch of uh, luck and hope you enjoy setting out your trail cams. We'll get back at you with another video here before too long. Thanks for watching.